For more information, check out my blog, dukai.com. Follow me. Hi guys, it's time for my monthly favorite, so let's just get straight into my favorite of September. The first thing that I wanted to talk about is actually a body care product that I've been using. Now, I think it was my last favorites video. I mentioned that I don't like to use fragranced body butters or body lotions anymore because my skin just doesn't like it. Like, I get little bumps on my skin and it doesn't keep me hydrated, etc, etc. I mentioned that in my previous video, which I'll link somewhere here if you haven't seen. I actually switched out my body wash as well and I don't use body wash anymore. And I know that sounds really gross, like, ew, what do you use? But I actually switched to soap. And the soap that I've been using for the last month, and I've been loving it for the last month, is this one right here. It's by Nubian Heritage, and this is the African Black Soap. I got this off iHerb, and I got like two or three of them. But this is with oats, aloe, and vitamin E. It's anti-blemish, detoxifying, and healing. Looks like that, and it's just a black bar of soap. It has like a earthy smell to it. Yeah, I did think it smelled like plantains a little bit, and it actually has plantain peel in it. I love plantain chips, they're so good. But anyways, um, this says that it's been used in Africa for centuries to treat eczema, blemishes, oily skin, psoriasis, and other skin ailments, which I don't really have eczema or oily skin or anything like that. I do get the random little acne on my arm. I've been traveling, I haven't really had a chance to do the Epsom salt soap that I mentioned for back acne and body acne, etc. So I've actually been using this for the last month and this has been working wonders. Well, ever since I've been using this, it's been really great. Like, my skin stays really hydrated, it's exfoliated. I noticed that my body skin is actually more glowing and really soft, so I really like this stuff. So this is definitely a huge, huge favorite. Um, a lot of people use this on their face too. I mean, I've heard great things about using it on their face. I tried using it on my face and the skin on my face just didn't really like it, but some people say that it works really, really great for them. So try this out if you haven't tried it out already. The next thing I want to show you is a brow product. Now, I just recently started doing my eyebrows probably around the beginning of the year and honestly, like ever since I started doing my brows, I noticed that my eyebrow hairs would shed and I started getting more sparse areas in my brows and I was like, what the heck is going on? Like, why are my brows shedding so much? And I actually talked about it in, an, in one of my makeup videos before that I think it's the MAC brow sets that make my brows shed. Now, some of you guys mentioned that ha that happens to you guys too, and I was like, okay, I'm not the only one. So I completely stopped using the MAC brow sets, even though I love them so much. And I started using this one by Ico and their brow gel. Um, this is a tinted brow gel, and it says that it is botanically enriched tinted gel to effortlessly define brows for a natural finish. Now, it says um, it features keratin and ginkgo bilabo. Blabo? Blabo. I like that word. Um, to maintain a healthy brow look. And that is no joke. Like, this stuff is amazing. Um, I actually noticed that my hairs are growing back in the sparse areas. My eyebrow hairs do not shed anymore. And I love it. I mean, it keeps my brows in place all day. It doesn't smear anywhere. It doesn't come off by the end of the day. The brow hairs are set in place. And the thing that I really like about it, which... Those of you guys who have fuller brows like me and you're looking for something just to give a little something, this is the product for you. It has this really slight tint to it, so when you brush it onto your brows, it kind of fills in the sparse areas for you, so you don't really need to use any other brow products. Actually, recently, I haven't even been using the powder to fill in my brows. I've just been using this, and it gets the job done. So I love this. I love how it doesn't make my brows shed. Um, the wand is just really small and easy to use. It's just amazing. The only thing that bugs me about this is that when you dip it in, it gets a lot of product on it. And if you just use it directly, your brows are going to be soaked. So what I like to do is I just like to wipe off some of the product on the tube. But I guess the way the tube is designed, it just kind of gets everywhere, which is not efficient use of product but I mean I really like what this brow gel is doing for me that's probably my only complaint is the packaging but love this <laughs> I couldn't just go without mentioning this product these are the new makeup forever artist shadows which 
love. Oh my god, the pigmentation of these is absolutely amazing. Um, but this one eyeshadow in particular, I'm obsessed with. It's this one right here, and this was the one that I just randomly picked up because I needed to fill my trio palette. And I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just grab that one. It seems like a really nice color. It's actually the one that I gravitate towards all the time. Like, I love this for an everyday type of look, and I know it seems really dark, but it's actually really beautiful. It gives you a really beautiful bronzy type of look. Um, I don't know the name of it off by heart right now. I'll list it in the description box below, but obsessed with this color. I wear it all the time for day. I wear it for night. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful color. I'll, have, I'll show you guys a swatch of it right now just to show you guys how it looks like and like a close-up swatch of it. I actually love all of the colors that I got and I love all of the Makeup Forever Art Shadows. If you guys are thinking about purchasing these and you guys don't know if you want to, um, I'll be more than happy to do a kind of review video for you guys on these shadows. If you guys would like to see that, um, leave a comment below and I'll definitely do that for you guys. But this color in particular is just my jam. Like, I love it so much. So, um, there's really nothing else I can say about this besides it's such a beautiful color. I feel like it's perfect for whatever skin tone you are, what, no matter what eye color you have, this color is going to make your eyes pop and look absolutely beautiful. Such a perfect color for fall too. Now that the weather is getting colder, this is such a perfect transition color from summer to fall. For those of you guys who are like me and you just don't want to let go of that whole summer glow look, this is just the perfect color. This next eyeshadow is actually from Sigma and this is the one that I've been wearing in a lot of my recent Instagram pictures that so many of you guys have been asking like, what are you wearing on your lids? It is this bad boy. Um, this is the Midsummer Loose Shimmer by Sigma. This came out with their Steady Glow collection, which don't even get me started on. It is such a beautiful collection because I'm one of those girls that is just all about that glow life. So anyways, it's just a loose sim sh simmer. It's just a loose shimmer and it's just a really beautiful bronzy color. I'll swatch it for you guys so that you guys can see what it looks like close up. This is again another one of those colors that you can transition from summer to fall because it is more of a glowy product but it's a perfect transition color because it is a little warm and pretty and just absolutely beautiful. So um, this is definitely a favorite of mine. The next eye product I want to show you guys is a mascara. And the one I have is actually just a sample size point perk that I got from Sephora. And this is the Baby Doll Mascara by YSL. <sighs> I just, there's just not enough things that I can say about this mascara. I actually just got it because I was like, you know what, whatever, let me just try it out because I am the last person that wants to try mascaras because I am just a creature of habit. I love my dream team and like that's it for me. It's inexpensive and it's just like, it works, leave it alone. If it works, leave it alone. But I get that little itch in me that's just like, you have to try it, you have to try it. So I actually picked this up as a 100 point perk from Sephora and I'm happy that I got it as a point burr because it's such an amazing mascara but I'm sad at the same time because it's so expensive and mascara is just one thing that I cannot justify paying so much money for but I probably will be getting the full size of this because this mascara is absolutely amazing. Like, it's the perfect skinny little wand that has all these little plastic bristles on it and it's rounded at the top. I'll show you guys a close-up of it so that you guys can see how it looks. It literally makes my eyelashes look like baby doll lashes. It makes them really full and long and thick and really fans them out. It's just such a beautiful mascara. I'm actually wearing it right now and I love it. It's just such an amazing mascara. If you really want to splurge on a mascara and, just, and you find that a lot of mascaras don't really work out for you. I really, really suggest you try the Baby Doll from YSL because this mascara is the bomb. The bomb. The last two products I want to show you guys are lip products. Now, this is another lipstick that I have been wearing a lot lately, and it's been in a lot of my Instagram pictures. And so many of you guys are like, What are you wearing on your lips? What are you wearing on your lips? And I actually wore it in my old Hollywood hair tutorial. and. Pretty much every other comment was what's on your lips and this is actually a limited edition lipstick so I think the collection is still out at MAC so if you guys like it I really suggest you grab it because this color is beautiful. This is by MAC and this is Yield to Love and it is a cream sheen finish. This lipstick came out with the 
romance collection. I don't know the full name, it's like Modern Romance or something like that. Such a beautiful, beautiful berryish rosy color. It's like a muted berry rose color. It's absolutely stunning. If you have not swatched it, I really suggest you go and try it out. Especially if you're tanned like me, you're really going to love this color. And honestly, I think this color is perfect for whatever skin tone you are. It's just such a beautiful, beautiful color and beautiful finish. This is actually one of my favorites. I'm actually thinking about going to pick up a second one just as a backup because I love this so much. This is kind of like my go-to everyday color now. It's just so perfect. The last thing I want to show you guys is another lip color. I'm actually wearing it on my lips right now. Um, this is a liquid lipstick by Kat Von D in the color Bow and Arrow. It's super long wearing and it's just the perfect nude. Um, this is something that I've been gravitating towards the last month and I love it so much. It's like my everyday nude color. It's just, I think it's perfect for every skin tone. I think that if you are on the fair side, it is going to show up a little bit brown on you, but it's definitely that whole 90s trend that's going on right now. And the great thing about this is that I think the normal price of these are like $24 or something. My sister went to Sephora and she saw that these were on sale for like 12 bucks, and um, she got it for me and I'm so thankful that she did because I'm obsessed with this color. The only thing about these Kat Von D liquid lipsticks, um, I heard that they changed their formula, maybe that's why they're getting rid of the older formula. But um, if you do get your hands on the older formula or if you have these and you find that they're not working out for you because they are actually really, really dry, but the way that I use them is I actually use a kind of liquid lip plumper or lip balm. Um, the one I use is by Duo. This is the Lip Venom. I don't really like this for plumping, but I really like the way it keeps my lips hydrated. So I put that on first and then I wait for that to kind of absorb into my lips and then I apply this. And it doesn't make my lips dry. It goes on really smooth. Um, as soon as this stuff dries, it's on there. Like, it is not going anywhere. You can eat, you can drink, you can kiss your partner, you can do whatever you want, and this is not going anywhere. So that's one of the things that I really like about these lipsticks, well, liquid lipsticks, is because they are just so... That was so creepy. Like, while I was talking, I saw a shadow walk by. And there's nobody there. Anyways, before I got freaked out, um, I really love how long wearing these are. They're absolutely beautiful. And this color in particular is one of my favorites. It's just such a beautiful nude. Like I said, this is the one that I'm wearing right now. And yeah. So that's it for my favorites of the last month. Leave me some comments below. Let me know what some of your favorites have been. Um, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a great big thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not. And I will see you guys in my next video.